you are here watching this video and you're in year 10 then brilliant well done you the majority of your friends and majority of people in your year will leave subscribing to my channel or watching my videos until the day before the biology exam so the fact that you've bothered to look for this video, the fact that you've bothered to click on this video when it popped up in your sub feed, the fact that you're subscribed now means that you're interested, means that you want to do well and being interested and wanting to do well is one of the most important things in succeeding in your GCSE. So well done, you've you've done a really big thing already. Now things might be feeling a little bit weird at school at the moment because the year 11 exams have finished, they've gone, they're not in school, especially if you're at a school that doesn't have a sixth form. You are going to be the focus of everyone's attention. You're now the focus of my attention and all of my efforts and what I'm doing. It's all focused around you which might feel a little bit weird you might feel the pressure starting to creep on already and is the pressure increasing starting to creep on at a time of year when you're really really ready for a break when you're really really ready for that summer holiday so it's probably going to start to feel a bit weird maybe a bit strange maybe a bit different to what you're used to and then when you get back after some of these things are going to be strange and different again Again, so if you do get that feeling, don't worry, it is completely normal. The transition from year 10 to year 11 is a big one. Things that you used to be able to get away with in the past, you're not going to be able to get away with now. Maybe that little bit of homework, that oh, you could get away with that one teacher. Now you're in year 11 and this is your actual GCSE year you're not going to be able to get away with that anymore. So even if you haven't noticed things feeling strange now, when you come back in September, things are definitely going to be different. So just prepare yourself for that a little bit. Now there is a lot you can do over the summer to prepare yourself for year 11, to make year 11 a lot easier. Now I'm not talking about spending hours and hours and teaching yourself the entire course and doing loads and loads of practice exam papers because it is a holiday. I do expect you to relax and read books and sleep and go and dip your toes in the sea. Um, but there is a lot of stuff that you can do to make your life easier. Look back at everything you've done so far and if there's anything, whether you started in year 9, whether you started in year 10, if there's anything since the start of your GCSE course where you missed a lesson, where you didn't understand a lesson, where you kind of understood it at the time but you weren't like 100% sure when you looked back at it, then spend a bit of time going over that again. Because that lesson that you missed because you had to go and get your car and taken off in hospital or you had to leave for a piano lesson or you had to leave early for a football match, that might be a six marker in your GCSE. It might be an eight marker in your GCSE. And in year 11, we don't have time to go back over the stuff that you missed in year 10 or the stuff that you missed in year nine. So make your life a little bit easier because you are gonna have to go over this stuff at some point. And if you do it now, if you go for it now, it's gonna save you a lot of time come April in year 11 when you're revising, we you missed a lesson in year nine and you have to go over it again as well as do all of your other revision. So if you can try and catch up on that work now, that will make your life a lot easier next year. There are loads of other things you can do, little things that will make your life a lot easier next year as well. If you haven't been doing it as you've been going along, make yourself some flashcards. Now these can be physical flashcards which you write on a bit of paper, these can be flashcards that you can either find or make on apps like Quizlet, and um, these can be flashcards that I've got for you on my website or the videos that I've got for you on my website, but get into the habit of making flashcards. Now this is for loads of different subjects, so like your vocabulary languages, your quotes in English, your equations, your units in maths and physics. If you can just sit there and spend five minutes doing a quick little quiz then that is really, really going to help your week all. And if you spend time now making all the flashcards, then we don't have to spend time making them in year 11 because you've done them already. Now, lots of people have been signing up to the website and I'm taking an educated guess that it is lots of year 10s. Um, on my website, you get access to 
thousands of multiple choice questions for 15 pounds a year and it's 15 pounds a year from the time that you sign up so if you sign up now you can get it for your year 11 year 10 exams and you can get it for your actual GCSEs the price is going to go up in August and there are lots of reasons why the price is going to go up in August um, and I'll explain that fully later on but if you sign up now then you can get it at a cheaper price and you can use all my flashcards and everything to help you revise over the, the summer and then all the way through year 11 as well. What I'm going to be working on over the summer is adding loads more subjects to that. So we're adding in, like finishing off the maths, adding in loads of different um, examples for science and adding in languages. And then maybe a little bit of geography as well, but I'm still working on that. There is loads of evidence that low stakes repetition of questions really really helps improve your recall and thus improve your grades and what I mean by low stakes is that nobody can check what you've done nobody can check you've done this and nobody can check your grades it's not like other websites where you know your parents get emailed every time you do a quiz and then kind of like you get your parents can see exactly which question you got wrong and your parents can see exactly what grade you got like my website's not that fancy it's not that sophisticated it's really low tech it's just a load of questions to help you revise and nobody can check up on what you've done so if you do it and you make a mistake well nobody's gonna know but if you make a mistake the first time you do it then hopefully you won't make that mistake the second time you do it and if you do make that mistake twice in a row then hopefully the third time you do it you won't make that mistake the other thing I'm gonna be doing for you over the summer is I'm writing revision timetables for you so Loads of you are telling me that you don't know how to revise, you don't know what to revise, you don't know when to revise. So I am doing all of that for you. I am taking um, the maths, I'm taking science, and I'm writing a vision table starting from beginning of year 10, um, beginning of year 11, uh, April in year 11, January in year 11. So whenever you decide to start your vision seriously, I'm going to have a timetable ready and waiting for you. And it's going to be kind of like, you know, do this task, do this task, this topic, do this task, for this topic, do this task. And the sooner you start it, the less each day you have to do. If you start it or April of year 11, then it gets a lot more intense. So the sooner you start your revision in year 11, the better. And it doesn't have to be hours and hours and hours. It can be 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. It doesn't have to be loads if you start it early enough. I'm going to be updating my revision guide, so if you have that um, and you haven't printed it off, wait until I release a new version in September to print that off. Um, I'm going to be writing more booklets for you, so that um, all the stuff that the guys didn't do quite so well on this year's exams, I'm going to be looking at that, and then I'm going to be writing booklets so that you guys don't make the same mistakes next year. Um, there are going to be more subjects that are going to be maths, geography, science, hopefully languages as well. So more videos, more subjects, just more of everything. More me. You're going to be sick of me. I'm really, really sorry. Um, but I am going to be here with you every single step of the way for your GCSEs. Um, so yeah, good luck guys. I'll uh, see you soon because you're not getting anywhere. Sorry. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.